I think I, I go through days where I am reflecting quite a lot and days where I try not to as much. Um, but on days where I do reflect, I, I've described it as feeling like I'm in a void. And I think that has to do with feeling um, a lack of inspiration to create or a lack of motivation to do things that I probably should be doing. I think that this experience um, has definitely made me more aware of who I am as a person. I think that we are controlled a lot by our daily activities and obligations and without those barriers I'm not exactly who I thought I was so I'm learning new things about myself every day. I'm learning that I am not an introvert. <laughs> it's kind of hard, it's hard to describe but essentially I like people more than I thought that I liked people. Particularly recently, I've had quite a few conversations about it. Um, one that I had yesterday with a friend who's studying medicine up in Burnie. Um, hadn't spoken to her, I think, for probably like a year or something. And it was just pretty crazy to see how much things have changed. And one of the things that we talked about is that it's kind of like every few days you have to adjust to a new normal. So you're... And it just keeps escalating but downwards. Feeling like you are of use is something maybe I'm, I am struggling with because my definite role in my household is to be the breadwinner. So to go out and be productive and come home with, you know, resources um, is I guess, important to the way that I have always lived. And so this is, this feels like um, a huge disability, I guess. I feel like I, uh, my purpose is, is gone, I guess. I feel more comfortable going for walks, especially with my dog. Um, later at night because there's less people um and just where I'm living at the moment I live very close to the beach um and I usually do this like hour-long walk and I go all the way up um I don't know how far it is right up to the last strip of beaches and um last night I was yeah I walked the whole way up and I decided to just like lay down in the grass and just have a look at the stars whilst like Remy was like running around and doing her thing. And then this cop car pulled over into the street that I was in. And how do I say this? I don't think I've had many instances before when I see a police car and be like, oh shit, I, am I doing the right thing? Like, could I get fined for what I'm doing? And that sort of thought process is weirdly becoming something I'm dealing with more and more. I want to know myself better as a person and I want to actually enjoy the time that I spend with myself. And this is an opportunity to explore that. One of the first times that I haven't worked since I was 14 years old, like I, I haven't been unemployed since I was 14. There's a lot of just staying, trying to stay calm because um, we're all living in a tiny house together and yeah it's a bit emotional all right remain calm I guess for my son and his mates and stay buoyant and try not to worry too much but I guess there's a lot of pressure when you have um, 
other people relying on you? There's a lot of things going on in my mind because there's a, a bit of a chronic overthinker and I've been doing very little for the last few weeks, so there's a lot of time to think. But one that I think is particularly pertinent to this conversation is that, like, consist because I talk to people about mental health a lot and like friends, family, and colleagues, and everything. So one of the like things that I continually find is that everyone thinks that they are going through an isolated time and they feel really alone and they feel like no one else is going to understand what they're going through and I know that like that in itself is not enough to help everyone because mental health is fucking complex and like there's so many factors that come in but just that sense that people are alone and experiencing this stuff um like it's just it's not true at all and like that's not really how compassion works like it's not like a like maybe time is a finite resource, but compassion isn't. And people, like if you reach out to people, they will, they'll listen and they will be there for you in some way. So, like just don't don't feel like you're going through this on your own. Because even though we like I have to be physically isolated, we don't have to be like emotionally or socially isolated.